inside of Perfect Effects. Once you've added a filter, you still have a whole bunch of different blending options for how to blend that filter in with your image. So I've applied a vintage red-yellow effect to this photo, but I want to change how it's affecting my original image. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Options button right here in my effects stack. Now you'll see we've got this new Blending Options dialog, and I can change a whole bunch of different things. First is the blending mode, so how that filter is going to affect my original photo. Right now it's set to normal, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go down and change it to soft light. So now it's adding an overlay of that effect on the image instead of just flat applying it to my entire photo. I can go in and I can change the amount, so the opacity of that filter as well, so I'm going to leave it all the way up at 100%. Next, I can change which part of the image I want to apply that effect to. I can make sure that it only applies it to the highlights, midtones, or shadows, or I can select things such as color channels or flesh colors, vivid colors, or neutrals. I can also make sure that it protects highlights, shadows, or flesh colors. So if I apply a filter and I want to make sure that it affects everything except for the flesh colors inside the image, I can go ahead and I can take this slider and move it over. I also have the option of changing the ethnicity, making sure that I'm very specific about what flesh tone I'd like to protect. Now once I've made any changes, all I need to do is press apply, or if I want to start from scratch, I can go ahead and press reset. So I'm going to apply these blending mode changes, and now I have my brand new vintage red yellow effect with a couple of new tweaks that have dramatically altered the appearance.